Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn an essential skill in video editing, and that is how to remove a moving object in Adobe Premiere Pro. Whether you want to eliminate an unwanted person, a logo, or any other distracting element from your footage, Premiere Pro provides you powerful tools to achieve this. So let's dive in and learn how to remove a moving object in Premiere Pro. Before we begin, let's make sure you have the necessary footage and understand the concept of masking. To successfully remove a moving object, you need a clip where the object is in motion. For example, I have this video. I'm going to place it on my timeline. I'm going to play it for you. You see, there's a couple that is moving on the beach. Additionally, it's essential to have some understanding of masking in Premiere Pro. Masking allows you to isolate specific areas of your footage and apply effects or modification to those specific areas only. If you're not familiar with the masking, uh, don't worry, we'll cover the basics as we go along. Now explore the process of removing a moving object in Premiere Pro. For that, I'm going to select the footage and go to the effects control. If you can't find this panel, you need to go to the windows. Here, select the effect control. Now, on the opacity mask, there's an option for the pen tool. Now, let's add. Now, let's start adding the mask. For that, I'm going to use the pen tool. But first, I'm going to take a copy of this and place it right here. Now, I'm going to hide this just by doing the toggle track output. And then, I'm going to select this one and create a mask. You can select the pen tool to add a mask. I'm also going to select the shadow. You can zoom in to see clearly. Also, you need to make sure that you have added the toggle animation to this mask. Now, by selecting this, and making some adjustments. Let's go on. You can move the mask by just grabbing it and moving it. Now yeah, the shadow is moving, so we'll move our mask as well. And let's move 10 frames. I'm using the shift key and the right arrow key to add some marks here.
Now we have completed our mask. Let's play the video. That's good. Now after completing the mask, let's move on. Now after completing the mask, let's move on to the next step. For that, I'll just select this and then click on invert mask. Now you see our object in the video is now hidden. Now let's go to fit. And just like that, you can make some adjustment by adding this shadow that is much longer than that. So I'm not doing this for this video, but you got the idea how you can do that, right? So let's move on with this one. You can also apply the feather to about like 25% is good. Yeah. Now after editing the mask, let's just toggle this one off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make a cut at just this point and bring this footage at this time and this one here now let's play the video you can adjust the mask feather you can decrease the mask to about 82 percent and there you go now i'm going to play the video for that i'll add the in mark and the out mark And render the video first. Now let's see the final result. Now you see only the shadow is left. And there you have it. We explored the process of removing an object in Adobe Premiere Pro. By using masking, tracking and filling techniques, you can effectively eliminate unwanted elements from your footage. Remember to prepare your footage, understand the masking, use the pen tool to create a precise mask, track the object motion with mask tracing, and fill the mask using the area, duplication, or content aware fill. If you have any questions regarding this, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, make sure to leave thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.